Hi everybody, this is Sonia, and this is my floss tube cross stitch video for Sunday, August 14th, 2016. And I hope everybody's having a great day so far, and that your week will be even better. I have three things to show today. I have three whips. I have two cross stitch kits that I will be starting and I want to share them with you and I also have a idea that I want to share with you guys and see what you guys think so it's going to be short and sweet but let's go ahead and get started the first one that I want to show you is from Zoo, Susie's Zoo it's a Jan Lynn cross stitch called Glamour Puss and everything is still in hoops by the way I haven't taken them out and here it is and it's worked on 14 count white Ada and I'm almost done I should be done sometime this week I've just got to finish it off here I've got a back stitch I've got to put the face on I've got to put the Got to finish them here and here. And the cat's done. But I really, really like it. Fast, quick stitch. If you like cats, um, I would definitely try to find this one. Susie Zoo from Jan Lynn, and it's called Glamour Puss. It's fun, but it works up quickly. Quickly. I think I've only worked on this like three times my rotation three or four times so yeah worked up really quick and the next one that I love is from Dimensions and it's Hummingbirds and Fuchsia it's a five by seven and here it is love this one and this is another one I would recommend this one is working up very very quickly as well if you want to quick stitch it's not going to take a lot of time I would recommend that and here it is it's done on 14 count white Ada and I have just worked within the hoop so I will be, I will be moving the hoop and I will be finishing the wings and the tail down here and then there are some more leaves and stuff up here. And then I will back stitch, and this will be done as well. I've really, really enjoyed the, the, those two cross stitch. And the last one that I want to show you is from Pooh. And I am working on R is for reading. And here it is. All I've got left to do is the tail, finish back stitching, and put R is for reading, and then I'll start the other one, which is Let's Be Friends. And this has worked up kind of slow because it's worked on the vinyl, but I'm enjoying it. It's fun. A fun project. So those are my works in progress. Now onto the projects I will be working on when the hummingbird and the cat are finished because they will be done probably this week. I will be working on serendipity designs. It's called Swan. Very feminine, very delicate, very, very calming picture and this is worked on 18 count I'd say cream Ada and look at the colors very light colors but I've had these in my stash for years and I decided I'm going to go ahead and work them up and then this one I have had since 1990 long time and this is from M and H and it is school days it's a five by seven, it's like a sampler. And this is worked on 14 count Ada. 
And it just has the school colors, the red, the blues, the yellows on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and work that one up as well. And then when I'm done with Tigger, I am going to start on the Lizzie Kate, I think that's Dog Lessons for people or something. It was gifted to me a while back from um, Julicious, Julie. And so I have decided to go ahead and start that. So I will be starting that when I finish this one. So that's all my whips and my starts that I will be doing. Um, before I go, I did have an idea and I wanted to share it and I wanted to see what everybody thought. I wanted to put together a crochet swap. Or not crochet, sorry, cross stitch swap. And what it would be, or more like an exchange, what it would be is we all have cross stitch projects that we have just cross stitched because we like to cross stitch. We don't have any emotional ties to them. You know, we do them, we put them away, and they never see the light of day again. We all have patterns like that. And what I was thinking about doing is getting, you know, one person, like getting a pair of partners, and you get a pattern that is not, or you get one of your projects that you have completed, these are completed projects, that you have completed, but you know you're not going to do anything with them. And you would send them to whoever's name I give you, just one, and the idea is that when they receive it, they must make something out of it. Whether it be an ornament, a pillow, frame it, make a wall hanging, or whatever other way they want to use it, turn it into pin cushions, whatever. Whatever they want to do with it, they must turn it into something. And I would give you one month to get it turned into something. Then you would need to send me a picture of the finished product or project and that is all you have to do. And I just, I thought that that would be fun to do. That way our, our cross stitch gets out and around. It gets turned into something. It gets used. And, yeah, so that's basically it. And anyone that um, does not follow through and does not send anything um, would be banned from doing it again. I would make sure to keep their names on hand so that I would know that that would not happen again. And I would send something of mine to replace it. So anyway, let me know what you think of the idea, if you like it, if you'd be interested in doing this. Um, just let me know in the comment section down below. And if there's enough interest, then I can work out the plans a little bit better and get the ball rolling. Okay, anyway, I think that's it for today. I want to thank everybody so much for watching, subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos. I do appreciate it, and I appreciate all of you that take the time to watch my videos. It means a lot to me. And until next time, everybody have a great day.